We're now ready to install our RAM in the motherboard. So our kit has two sticks, but we've got four slots on the motherboard. So we can't just pick and choose which of the slots we install it in. Your motherboard manual will tell you which ones to install it in. But if we also look on the motherboard, there is normally a little diagram telling you which ones to install it on. Unfortunately, on our Intel board, it's covered with another sticker, but you can see it on our AMD board. So in general, it is the second and fourth slot along from the CPU, which are A2 and B2. And you're going to have to install in these slots if you want your RAM to access dual channel. So this is our stick of DDR5. You'll notice we've got gold contacts down at the bottom with a little notch in them. And you'll notice the lengths of the gold contacts are different. So it's only going to go into the socket one way round. In general, you're going to have the good side of the RAM facing the right hand side of the motherboard. If I turn it round, there's the side with a little sticker on it and it tends to be facing towards the CPU. But you can't rely on this. There is some kits of RAM that have it the other way round. Another important thing to mention, if you've got a DDR5 motherboard, don't try and install in DDR4 on it. It won't fit and you will damage both the RAM and the motherboard. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the clips on the second and fourth slot along from the CPU. Some motherboards will just have clips at the top that open. Um, this particular motherboard has clips at both the top and at the bottom. Next thing we're going to do is line our RAM up with the slot. Now importantly, we have to make sure it's around the right way. This way around, the little notch fits up with the slots. If we turn it around this way, you'll see that the notch doesn't line up with the slots. Now, if we try to install this, we would damage the RAM and the motherboard. So what we're going to do is have the RAM around the right way, and we're just going to slide it into the slots at the top. And then we're going to let it fall down into the socket. Next thing you're going to want to do is apply some firm pressure to the top of the RAM on both sides. It's going to clip into the slot, and the little clips are going to close on both sides. And this would be the most common reason that your PC isn't going to work at the end, is that you haven't actually installed the RAM correctly. So make sure you're applying firm pressure, and once you've checked that you've got it around the right way and it's sitting correctly in the socket, and make sure the clips close. And the process for installing our second stick is exactly the same.